Okay, hello and welcome to another country review. This time we're in Barcelona and we've been here about a month, so I'm just going to give my rundown of what it's like to live here as a city um, for digital nomads and travelers, entrepreneurs. Um, so let me, uh, yeah, let, me, let me get to it. Basically, after one month, you know, I think overall our experience has been really positive and we've had a really good time. Um, obviously, the weather's nice here, the people are pretty friendly. Um, we know a few people here, some other entrepreneurs, so you know, we've had that kind of uh, circle of friends and it's been kind of easy to meet other expats uh, and other people. So that's been really nice. Um, I don't speak Spanish, uh, and so it's a little bit challenging. Actually, in Barcelona here, they speak uh, a different dialect, uh, Catalonian, so not everything is, is straightforward anyways. Uh, my sister came to visit for a few days and she couldn't really understand uh, the, the language either, so she, you know, speaks, she speaks perfect uh, Spanish. So. Um, I've been getting by with just a few phrases and some PIMS or audio, tape, uh, audio tapes that I've been listening to and that, that's kind of helped uh, just, to, just to get by and get the basics but everyone here more or less speaks English so uh, it's a huge tourist town obviously a lot of tourists uh, coming in at the moment because the weather's getting nice and so it's been pretty easy and, and to settle in it's more like European culture that I'm used to uh, before this we were in you know, Turkey and Cyprus and Egypt so those are very very foreign cultures and, and difficult sometimes just to get the basic things uh, so here it's been quite, quite easy to settle in for the most part. Uh, I had one experience with the post office here, which is, which is probably for another video, but um, for the most part it's been, it's been pretty, uh, pr pretty pleasant and easy to, to settle in. Uh, obviously Barcelona is not a, not a cheap city, so coming from you know, Turkey and Cyprus and Egypt, the, the cost for things like rent and food has gone up quite a lot, and so that's been a bit of an adjustment, but um, we cook from home most of the time anyways, so that's not so bad. And we've got a nice flat here. If you look behind me, you can see uh, the beach about 50 meters away. So we've got a really nice flat in a good location. And probably a good idea to book in advance a few months because it's quite hard to find flats on the ground here. Uh, we managed to get a flat for one month. And so now we're looking for another place for the next month because this place is already taken. So I definitely, if you're coming around June, July, when the weather starts getting nice, you're getting a lot more tourists coming in. And so all the flats get taken up and the prices go up as well. So. Depends what time of year you're coming, but right now uh, we managed to get this place. It's uh, May now, so we managed to get this place for 900 euros a month, and that's with everything included. That's like a one-bedroom studio, really, really good location with the beach, you know, very close. Uh, bills and internet, everything included. Got a kitchen, uh, so that that's quite good. I think that's good value for for Europe. Uh, but then from next month, already the price is going up. You know, 1,100, 1,200 euros a month for a similar kind of place. So that that's definitely a challenge. If you're staying longer, you can get probably a discount. Um, but you know that, that's going to be uh, one of the main, main considerations for other entrepreneurs coming to bootstrap their business is you know cost of life. So so rent's definitely you know more expensive than other European cities. If you want to save money in Spain, you probably go to a second tier city like Valencia. Um, in these smaller beach towns, will probably be cheaper as well. So uh, it's not the cheapest city, but definitely there's a lot to do here. Um, and I came mainly to hang out with other entrepreneurs. So there's an entrepreneur community called the Dynamite Circle. Uh, and these guys are other entrepreneurs like me who kind of travel around. So, you know, some have lifestyle businesses, some have big businesses, but they, they, you know, they enjoy traveling and meeting other people and, and, and living in new countries and trying new cultures. So there's a group of guys um, staying about 10 minutes down the road from me, and they've got a couple of houses they're sharing together. So that also makes it a lot more affordable if you're sharing a house with three, four people uh, instead of renting a whole apartment to yourself, then that might be a good option for you. So cost-wise, um, not the cheapest, but not the most expensive either. Uh, and I find it quite quite manageable. We cook at home a lot anyway, just because we like to we like to cook our own food and control what we're eating. So that, that hasn't really been an issue. And um, they make the drinks quite strong here, which is good. So you get your money's worth if you like to drink. Um, which is good for me because I only need to have one or two drinks, and I'm I'm very happy. And uh, yeah, so we've been going out a bit, hanging out with these other entrepreneurs, uh, doing some mastermind sessions, really, uh, you know, getting getting some feedback on our businesses and our ideas. And that, that's always. Uh, it's always a powerful thing when you're, when you're traveling alone or working alone on your own business sometimes, you don't have that feedback. Uh, but to be able to have ideas is, uh, you know, bounce ideas off other people is really powerful. So um, being here for that definitely is a plus. Um, let me think what else. I think weather-wise, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's a good time of year. It's getting 20, 25 degrees, that kind of weather, uh, Celsius. And so, you know, it's perfect because it's not too hot. It's not too cold. You can walk around at night with a T-shirt on feel really pleasant and um, the wind here is nice because it's very close to the beach so you get a lot of wind and it's very cool and you've got the sun out all the time. I think we've had maybe one or two days of rain the whole month we've been here so it's been beautiful blue sky, you know, sunshine weather and yeah really really enjoying that. It's nice to wake up uh, nice to wake up to that view every morning and just see the beach 
from uh, from over there. So um, try to find some good uh, co-working spaces to to do uh, some work from. But uh, obviously, it's you know it's prime tourist season, so it's very hard to get seats. And a lot of a lot of restaurants and bars don't want you sitting around for too long because they want to get more customers through the door. So most of the time, I've been working from here, and that's that's fine because I can concentrate better anyways when it's quiet. Um, we're on quite a noisy street here, as you're probably hearing some cars and some bikes. Uh, definitely coming from Antalya, where it was a lot quieter, that's it's taken us some time to get used to our neighbors being so close. You know, it's almost like we're living in the same house. I can see my neighbors across the street here, and so that, that's kind of very interesting and very different for for us. Um, but I'm used to living in a city anyway, so it's not that different from some of the places I've lived in. Uh, and now, you know, it's not too bad. People are pretty friendly for the most part. Um, yeah, I think to do wise, uh, definitely there's a lot of activities here, a lot of museums, a lot of nature. We haven't even done that much, you know, in the one, one month we've been here just because we've been working a lot. Uh, my, my brother and sister did come to travel and stay with us, so got to hang out with them a bit, do some touristy stuff. But there's still a lot more I, I want to do. We're actually going to come back again for another month, so we're just going to go take a short trip to, to France to hang out with my, my friend in Carcassonne for a few days, and then we'll come back and we'll try and get another flat for another month here. So we're going to stay because there's more, more entrepreneurs coming down. There's a big, uh, a big uh, conference going on here for, for entrepreneurs, and the Dynamite Circle are doing that, so there's going to be attracting a lot of people uh, over the next month or so, and so we're going to meet some old friends uh, you know, that I've met from, from around the world. They're all going to be coming here, and that's going to be quite fun, quite exciting. So, yeah, I was really looking forward to that. I'll do uh, a part two review uh, after the next month and just uh, give some updates. But, yeah, so far, really enjoying it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I, I've got one experience I want to talk about in another video about the post office and trying to order supplements. Um, it's not the cheapest to order, order supplements here, so that's one issue if you're, if you're quite conscious about your health, you're trying to control uh, what you eat. Um, I found a good supplement provider of uh, the UK, and they don't charge tax within the EU, so you can order anywhere in Europe and you're fine. But I tried to get some supplements, some collagen powder from the US, and that's taken like four weeks to clear customs. And I can kind of understand why the economy is struggling because there's just so much bureaucracy and, and you know, red tape to just to get some something delivered to your door. And so, yeah, that's been my one frustration. I would say if you're trying to run a business here, you've got to understand how things work. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily corrupt, but things take a long time, and you have to know how the system works, and you have to have a lot of patience. And I really don't have that much patience to, to wait four weeks for, for some supplements to come through customs. So that's my only complaint. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, it's been, a, it's been a jolly experience. Um, alcohol is a lot cheaper, like the wine, and so you can, you can relax and uh, you know, party with your friends. And uh, it's, uh, it's a beautiful town because everything's open late, so you can just walk around very late. Uh, lots of clubs, lots of bars, uh, very nice restaurants, and everything's on your doorstep if you if you live in town. Uh, you can hear that people like to shout here. There's some guy down the street. They like to shout up and down four or five floors. So you, you tend to know everything that's going on. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not the quietest city, but people here uh, seem to be smiling and happy, and that's because I guess the, the weather's so nice. So that's my quick uh, part one review. Um, I guess a few other things like internet speed. You know, uh, internet's really good, and hasn't cut out at all, like no power cuts, no electricity cuts, uh, internet cuts like in Turkey and Egypt, uh, which is quite problematic to do any work uh, consistently here. We've been able to get a lot of work done, and pretty much that's what I've been doing most of the day, just getting down, getting, getting projects done. Got a few new, uh, few new business partners and new ideas I'm working on, so uh, internet's been really good, can't complain about that. And yeah, just tons to do, so we're going to be here another month and hopefully get to see some more touristy stuff. Uh, check out the, you know, check out the mountains. Um, I've been hanging out at the beach most of the time here because I'm so close, so that, that's quite nice. And uh, yeah, I would recommend it definitely. Um, we'll be doing another video at the end of next month, and uh, we'll be back on soon.